First, I would like to ask both your permission to use this video for educational purpose and on sure. the internet. Yes. Just take it off. Okay, yes. tell me. Tell me about your symptoms and your suffering before the surgery. Well, I've actually broke my back at one point, and I had three prior back surgeries. The first one, which was a real simple one, seemed like it went great, but the, the last two that were open back, I never did ever get relief. Yeah. And that was very disappointing. When were those surgeries done? Three and five years ago. Three and five years ago? Yeah. So first, my best understanding is that they first took the pressure off, but then second time they put metal in to bridge the weak segment. Is that about right? That is correct. And that was actually one level fusion. That's all what it was. So um, do you remember that surgery? Yeah, I do. How long that. did it take them to do that? And how long did it, did it take you to recover from it? Well, it was over four hours and they had to actually stop. For one level. Yeah, they actually had to stop. He wanted to proceed to do other work, but he felt I was under for long enough. Okay. And then he did tell me after that that there was additional um, work to be done mm -hmm. and asked me where he should stop cutting. And I, at that point, I knew that I it's was... It's not the right answer for you. Well, it wasn't a good, it wasn't a good answer and it wasn't a good outcome because yeah. I, I was, after almost a year of mm -hmm. recovery, I wasn't out of pain. Yeah. And so you never really recovered from that surgery? No. Okay. You told me you were on narcotic for a long time. For how long? Five years. Five years. Now, and the, you're a tough man. You have a physical job. What do you do for a living? I'm a horticulturist, which entails, I'm a, I'm a grower, but I also do landscape installs mm -hmm. and hardscapes. And this is physical job? Yes. Now, when was our surgery? March 3rd. This is what we did. I'm going to turn around. We did actually, this is the level you had the surgery. We had to go above and below. So we didn't have to stop until we needed to stop. And we take care of the level above, two level below and correct it, connect it all together. Believe it or not, most of the time I was spending not to do my surgery, but taking the screws out here. And right, taking the old hardware out. Yeah, right. yeah. Um, how long did you stay in the hospital after our surgery? One day. One night after yeah. the surgery you went yeah. home. Yep. And how long after the surgery were you the, the back to your usual activity? Tell me about it. How has it been? Well, I would say within a month I was almost back to f full bore. I mean, mm -hmm. it was unbelievable. Yeah. And the surgery prior to this one, it was a week in the hospital. It was a year for of, one level this was a yeah, four level fusion right. yeah and it was a year of pure pain yeah um how long did you take narcotic or are you on narcotic now no i i i was off it actually before i was i got 100 percent off it and that's kind of the surprising part because i was concerned about getting off the drugs yeah. but we fix the problem that's why well, you yeah. don't need to be on narcotic right and you you no, when I was asking you what you are doing, she was rolling her eyes. <laughs> Tell he's, me. He's done quite well. Well, yeah, I recovered a greenhouse, yeah. a hundred foot, a forty by hundred foot greenhouse, and so I had to stand on a forty foot ladder yeah, for part yeah. of the day. How long after the surgery? Oh, that was like a month after. A month after the surgery. It so, might have been two months after. Yeah, that. So but I, it didn't take long, and I was right back to to life. Exactly. I mean, there's. I, I still there's certain things that I won't do. Yeah, uh, just because I ask you not to. Based on I'm still recovering, <laughs> yeah. but uh, for the most part, I mean I'm yeah. I'm back on my feet. And we in just action. Look, we just look at the cat scan. Bone is growing. Yeah. Your body is done with it. Right. Within uh, three four months, the bone is growing. What we expect from usual old fashioned surgery after a year or two, right. and uh, you're within a month back to your basic life now. I'm going to tell you a secret that is very disappointing for me. Some of the hospitals here in town are giving me a hard time to provide this kind of service to my patient there. What would you say to the somebody who's from one of those hospitals that um, make it easy to do the previous surgery, open surgery that you got, but make it hard for a patient to get this surgery? What would you, what would you like to tell them? <laughs> They're missing the boat, man. This is the new wave. Get on the boat because yeah. it works. It's changed his life. It works. And yeah. uh, 
I was completely miserable and probably miserable to live with as well. And I'm I'm back that's to hundred percent. That's true. Well, that's what she she told my family doctor on my last visit that I got my husband back. So those are all good things to hear. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I like to share that with people who are in this kind of uh, the service to understand what it means. And I like what you said, they're missing the boat. And Not if the only hospitals that, were smart, yeah. they would let you do these surgeries. Not only do it, but promote it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. The, the traditional open back surgery is, should be a thing of the past because yeah. based on what I endured over three surgeries, it, it's, I mean, this is a completely different outcome, yeah. obviously. And the amount of time that I spent that I was in bed and down and out is, was minimal. I mean, I was right back. Of course, you guys said get back on your feet, so I did, and um, I haven't stopped. I just kept, every, I just keep pushing myself a little bit yeah. more every day. And you know, one story is anecdotal, but I have one thousand four hundred of this testimonial out there. So this is this is a thing. You are absolutely right. Something big is happening, and I hope people come to their senses yeah. and help us to give this uh, this kind of service to our patient because it's about the patient it's not about the turf wars it's not about right. who has the the biggest hardware or who can who is the right. biggest surgeon it's about who can put the patient back give give the patient back to their family fastest and the best so our neighbor had his surgery a month prior to my husband and open old-fashioned way or what old-fashioned yeah. way and he's back in today, today as we speak yeah. having another surgery yeah, because, because it didn't work. the last vertebrae didn't didn't heal properly and so now yeah. they have to redo it so you know and this is just what a, a month before you yeah and yeah he had his before me and I, we worked together doing mm -hmm. greenhouse yeah. and uh, he same just, work huh the same yeah. work and he is a hurt unit and I, I, I could feel for him because I've been through it and I so, hear that this story I hear that too often yeah. and uh, again you know I think it's time as well for regulators to step in look at the data and you know because it's a, it's a it's a it's a it, the healthcare especially spine is a massive thing it won't change until people like you patient and the regulators don't step in it's time for well, people to know it's that it's the new wave I, yeah. there's no reason why Anybody should go back to the old way of doing business when this yeah. one works so much better. I mean, um, thank you. I thank you for that. Okay, and yeah. I may ask you to go and talk to those people, tell your story. Just tell Absolutely. your story. Would that be all right? Absolutely. I thank you so much. I really yeah. appreciate that from bottom of my heart. Your willingness to help me in this. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank it's you. an honest evaluation. So. Thank you. I appreciate. It.